Do you pick up your birds like this? Uh. Or like this? <coughs> or like this? <coughs> well, no more, because today we're going to teach you the five steps to pick up the bird from the ground with your racket every time. Our first step is going to be learning about the grip. So with our grip, we want to enter our standard, usual, neutral position in our grip. Now, when we're doing this scoopy position, we want to use our fingers on the racket and be turning our racket head here, but with the use of our fingers. Of course, we can add some support with our palm, but we're still turning our racket head with our fingers. And this is what we're going to be using to pick up the bird as we do a really quick swoop up. Now, the motion with the fingers is going to be like this. You'll have all your fingers on the racket. Your thumb will be on the flatter parts. You're going to pull back with your thumb and at the same time, push forward with the rest of your fingers. And of course, having the racket Relax on your palm so that it doesn't fall out. And this is going to be your grip motion. And you'll see that the racket face is turning while I do that motion. So let's use what we learned using only our fingers coming up to the bird. Boom. And that's how you pick it up. Step two is learning how to catch the bird. What do I mean? It's gonna be something like this. Catching the bird back on your racket. So the first thing we're gonna do is toss our bird up. Pretty straightforward, whatever you want. Toss it into the hair, of course as straight as possible. Once the bird is coming down, what you want to be doing with your racket is going perpendicular to it, right beside, and then matching its speed. As it arrives, your point of contact, where you want to pick it up, you can start contacting it at an angle. So you're diluting its downward force into a sideways force, but not all at once, because if you go just sideways, you'll hit the bird out. So you're going with downward force and then going slightly sideways to converge that force into a different direction. And as we redirect that force, the bird is going to want to travel in the direction that you're applying force to. And we just bring it back at the end. Now let's talk about the physics of this. Pressure or direction of force we're actually applying is going to be on a curve. So it's going to be like this, going outwards. And then as we come back, we scoop it back into our racket. All right, our third step is gonna learn how to do the motion of picking it up off from the ground. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to be coming on the shuttle head facing us. And as we're coming in, we're going to be matching the direction of the shuttlecock, but we're going to have a slightly forward motion, a forward motion before we pick it up. So it's gonna be forward into sideways and then back, okay? So not directly sideways, because if you were to go directly sideways, too much sideways energy and it's gonna push the bird away. Our fourth step is gonna be learning how to catch it with our hand. This is particularly useful because in training, oftentimes we will have multiple birdies. So we need to be able to pick it up and catch it in our hands. And it's gonna look like this. So we start with one, of course, throw it up, two, throw it up, three, throw it up, four, throw it up, catch it in our hand. So the first bird, when it comes, you'll see that it comes like this. What you wanna do is just catch it with your palm and then place it in between your thumb and your index finger. That's where your first bird's gonna go. Your second bird is gonna come up, you're gonna catch it with your palm again, and this time, you're going to put it at the back of your palm, okay? So using your ring finger. Now third bird, when it comes down, you're gonna be catching with your middle finger this time, okay? Middle finger, but you see, we're still leaving space in our palm because we need to be catching our fourth bird. And our fourth bird, you just catch it with whatever you got left. You can catch it in your palm and then use your pinky and your wedding finger to hold it all together. So you see, I have birds in each finger. Ready? Ready? The last skill you need to learn for picking up birds is the pickup and throw. You're going to be still starting in your standard pickup, moving forward with the bird facing you. But after you've picked it up, at the same motion during your pickup, you're going to direct that energy into a direction that you're wanting. Let's say for example, I want to throw it forward, okay? So I'm going to pick it up and then forward. There we go. I want to throw to the left, I'm going to pick it up and then to the left. To the right, pick it up and then to the right. Behind me, pick it up and then behind me. 